It is so great to see so many people willing to take the time to come out here and send a message to our legislators in Washington and Salem that we have had enough, enough taxation, enough regulation, enough overspending, enough overborrowing, enough bailouts, enough stimulus packages, and enough redistribution of wealth our government exists to serve the people. We do not exist to serve the government. How well is your government serving you? Our representatives in Congress are gutting our economy with overborrowing and overspending for toxic asset relief programs, bailouts, and stimulus packages that benefit their major campaign contributors at our expense. They are diluting the value of all of our savings, income, and retirement funds by printing up trillions of dollars of toilet paper currency, leading to hyperinflation and the devaluation of every dollar you own or earn. They are mortgaging our nation to foreign powers like China, and indenturing our children and our children's children to pay off the astronomical debt that they are incurring in our name. They're driving the industries that sustain our economy offshore by prohibitively expensive and increasingly restrictive regulations ostensibly to protect the environment and prevent climate change. They're creating a whole new elite class of government employees who don't produce anything but are compensated far more generously than the private sector can hope to afford because they're paid by you and me with our tax dollars while our economy crumbles around us. Our government created this economic crisis by trying to implement social engineering as economic policy with the Community Reinvestment Act and artificially low mortgage rates intended to encourage people who could not afford to buy houses to buy them anyway with subprime mortgages backed by the full faith and credit of the U.S taxpayer, that's you and me. And now they're pretending that they can get us out of this mess in the exact same way they got us into it, by loosening up credit and promoting risk-free mortgages for people who still cannot afford to buy houses and investing our taxes in the same toxic assets that are threatening to topple the world economy. What's wrong with this picture? Everything. Everything. You're right. Meanwhile, they're planning to expand entitlement programs under the misguided belief that it's the role of government to provide for everybody who can't or won't provide for themselves at the expense of those who do. Our lawmakers keep passing more and more laws to protect us from ourselves. We're not children. We're not wards of the government, so why can't we take responsibility for the choices we make? Yeah. 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 Both federal and state 
government are continually expanding their power to determine what we can and cannot do with our own private property. At every level of government, they are totally convinced that they can spend our money better than we can. If our founding fathers could even imagine the plethora of laws, regulations, ordinances, taxes, licenses, fees, permits that we are subject to today, they would not only roll over in their graves, they would rise up out of their graves and call for another revolution. Yeah. Yeah. But our current administration and Congress seem to believe that we don't have enough government. They want to keep expanding government at an even greater rate than it has ever been expanded before. One has to wonder what these people believe the ultimate role of government should be. It's certainly a far cry from what our founding fathers intended. If you've had enough, it's time to stand up and send a loud and clear message to your legislators that their days in office are numbered. Yeah. Unless they stop the taxing, stop the spending, stop the borrowing, stop the porking, and stop regulating our economy into insolvency. It's time for the people, once again, to rise up and take a stand against overtaxation and overregulation. Yeah. It's our government. Let's take it back. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. So, it's time. If you want to get involved, actively involved, in working to limit the powers of government, I cordially invite you to join me and a lot of other people who share our beliefs at our local chapter of Americans for Prosperity. We meet every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. at the Elmer's Restaurant. I hope to see you there. And thank you again for coming out here tonight, and God bless